matters. All right, good morning once again. 543 is the time. That means it's time for weather on the threes. And uh, this time around, we're looking at I-80 right off 84th Street, uh, the interstate as we would expect, and probably the best condition we've seen of any of our roads, and uh, that is to be expected. Watch the side streets, the parking lots, uh, still snow and ice packed in many areas, and it's cold. It's only 21 degrees, so no melting going on here. With northwest winds at 12, you couple that with the temperature, it feels like 9 above. So that's really the big story. A lot of cold air in place, fairly consistent underneath the canopy of clouds. 16 is a cold spot in both Norfolk and Columbus along with York. Actually, we just updated to 15. I stand corrected down in Beatrice. Uh, you can see generally upper teens to low 20s in Iowa. 21, the common number there. Carroll, Atlantic, and Red Oak all reporting that number. All right, as we check out our future cast again, we're talking about a lot of clouds. Temperatures take the dip into the upper teens this morning and then try to creep back in the low, possibly mid 20s this afternoon. Cloud cover throughout the day, and at times we could squeeze out a few flurries. So keep that in mind. No additional accumulation, and the winds not nearly the factor they've been the last couple of days here. All right, local radar once again showing dry conditions from Ross to south along 84th through La Vista and Papillion, and then you go back east towards South Omaha across Harrison there. Just cloudy skies this morning. Same story all across the metro, all across eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, northwestern Missouri. In fact, you have to go way up to the north to run into some snow. Still left over from our system yesterday from Sioux Falls east into southern parts of Minnesota there. So for us today, just a lot of clouds, few flurries. Our forecast high will try to inch back to 24 with a northwest wind decreasing from 5 to 15. In fact, the winds go pretty light tonight. Maybe some light snow or flurries possible, especially late tonight into early tomorrow. 16 for the low, so that's cold. That's actually close to normal, but still not much movement from the high today. And we kind of go back to about night or 24 tomorrow, so not much movement there. In fact, you kind of get the trend. Uh, not a big fluctuation from overnight lows to afternoon highs, but it stays cold. In fact, we'll be down around 10 for a start temperature Thursday and Friday morning, and highs generally average through the 20s the rest of the year. And we started off on Friday with a high of 26 and the first week of 2016 also looks to be cold, but no major winter weather systems there. So that's good news. If you're going to be out Thursday evening, bundle up temperatures in the teens for uh, celebrating and ringing in the new year there, but we should be dry. All right, right now at 545, a reminder, you can download Snowcast to your smartphone. It's been getting a workout the last week, last Thursday, and again yesterday. Uh, may hint around at maybe a tenth of an inch in spots with some light snow or flurries the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, nothing major, no real additional accumulation with that, but fun to track the weather. I think we'll give it a rest, though, for the better part of the next week. All right, stay with us again. We're inside a quarter before six. We'll have more. When we come back, here's a live look outside from 108th and Q. Still a lot of snow and even some ice on the roads this morning. Take it easy.